welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name is Isabel and I'm here today to share with you my everyday makeup routine. So I would say without further ado, let's jump right into the video. You know the sound effect? I am in the first year of high school and my makeup routine probably takes about 15 to 20 minutes every morning. I really like to have just quick and fast and easy products to use. I'm so sorry, I did not realize I sounded so dopey here, but I promise it gets so much better. So, first thing I want to do is pull my hair out of my face. So first thing, very important, is to always moisturize. The moisturizer I use is this one here. It is the Kiehl's Limited Edition, sorry I'm just reading over here, Janine Rewell. I hope I'm saying that right, Ultra Facial Cream. Get the cream. I don't use a lot of it because it is quite expensive. It little goes a long way with this cream and it's really nice and really moisturizes really well. I have a little bit of sensitive skin, that's why my skin gets red straight away. So once I've done that, I want to go to foundation. I don't generally use a lot of foundation. If I use it, I use very little. And if I'm having a particularly bad acne day or skin day, uh, pores and everything, I'll use a little bit. Otherwise, I'll generally even skip this. But for the sake of the video and my skin isn't doing that great today, so I shall be using a little bit. This is the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. And it is the ultra light skin perfecting makeup and it has FPF 15. And I am the color beige 10. So I'll just put a little bit here. And take a, I'm taking a wet beauty blender. Wet beauty blender, wet beauty blender, wet beauty blender. Wet Beauty Blender. We're worried. Okay, so I'm just taking a Wet Beauty Blender and just... This, honestly, I really like this product because it's very light and it doesn't have a lot of coverage. It's almost like having an extra layer of uh, moisturizer, which is really good. Especially if you're like going to school or something, you don't want to have a cakey face. Blend the hell out of it. Although it's actually very easy to blend. And it's also quite fast to blend, that's why I like it for my everyday makeup. As I was saying though, it is quite on the sheer side, so if you prefer more full coverage, I would recommend trying something else out. Always remember to drag it a bit down to the neck. I definitely think that when you are matching foundation, there's some people who say you should match it to your neck, some to your face, some to your hands. I think you should match it to your neck because if your face is going to be covered in this color, it should be the same color as your neck, not as your face. Because if your neck and if your neck and face have a different color, then you're just going to remain with a different color neck and face. You know what I'm saying? Instead, if you match it to the neck, then your face and your neck have the same color. I don't know if any of that made sense. Once I've done that, now I'm going in with my trusty Nabla concealer. I have, in the last few months, again purchasing this before I always used to use the Benefit or the Cakeless Concealer or the uh, Boy Bing One Perfect Moisturize something. And I really do still like those and I still have them, but for my everyday I generally use this Nabla one here. And this is the Close Up Stay Full Smooth Concealer in the color Ivory. I really like it also because you can get a lot of product onto the brush. So I've just cleaned it off a bit now. And I do dab under my eye, dab under my eye, chin, nose. Go up here to my forehead region, my T-zone. And then I'll just do a little bit in any other place. Okay. Damp Beauty Blender, blend the hell out of it. This is definitely um, a dry concealer, so I don't recommend it for people who have really dry skin, which I don't, so that's fine for me. And it has high coverage, that's why I like it. It really has a good coverage, and it also lasts long. That's why I always use it for like going to school and stuff. Although I'm clearly not going to school now. <laughs> Quarantine. 
I want to talk about something in general. This is the second video I'm posting on this channel and last time I was so awkward and felt really not comfortable on camera but I definitely already feel like I'm getting better. I think I need to remember to be less awkward and more me. Uh, I one time saw on the Vogue channel, Madeleine Patch was doing her, her skincare plus makeup morning routine and she was saying that she absolutely loves dry beauty blenders. She, she was like, you know, don't say anything bad about it unless you try it. And I was like, you know, you're completely right. So I tried it and I mean, it's not the end of the world in fairness, I think. I don't find that much of a difference in it actually. Next we have powder. Powder is very important for me because if you're doing the smallest bit of sweating, long day, uh, anything like that, your full face will just completely melt off. Obviously, you don't want to be doing baking in the morning, especially if you're in a hurry or anything like that. This is what I use. I use the Clinique powder. This is the almost powder makeup in the color 02 Natural Fair. Let's just go in with a brush. This one is from Real Techniques. I always put powder on my neck as well because I feel like it kind of blends face and neck together. I'm looking so flat. My face is completely flat. Contour. I do very light, just something to make my face look less flat and more to life. I use, it's broken. It's the Makeup Revolution London Ultimate Light Blush Contour Palette. Or on a day-to-day -day basis, I will also use this Sephora, it is the e-glue, I think. It's really, really handy because it has just blush, contour, setting powder, uh, highlighter. Here it has lipstick, eyeliner, uh, eyeshadow, and all over here, this is all eyeshadow as well. So it's actually really helpful and I do really use this a lot. It was gifted to me this year as a present. I think it was a Sephora... It might have been limited edition. I'm just going in with this MAC brush. I cannot read the number. I'm going in with this color here. It's the almost lightest shade. Just to define first my cheekbone here, drawing it down a bit towards my mouth and then really bring it up into my temple and on the side of my face and then bring it down to where my jawbone is because you really want to really really blend everything out because I like it really subtle especially on the day-to-day -day basis or in school or stuff like that I'm going in with this other brush here which is also from MAC now I'm just going to slightly do my forehead getting the bigger brush same color blow off the excess so I will tell you a little bit about my life but there's not much going on really you know we're all at home everyone should stay home stay safe Absolutely, because your health is more important than anything else. Remember that. When I'm doing this, I also concentrate mostly on like the sides of my forehead to try to make my forehead look as small as possible. Moving on to setting powder. I am using the, uh, I'm using the one that comes with the Sephora e-glue, the one that I was telling you about before. Smoothing and brightening powder. It's like this really subtle smoothing brightening powder. As the title says, just get this beauty blender here and then I press it into my under eye. I also really do my nose because I have really dark circles where my nose is. In the middle of my chin, forehead, nose, t-zone area in between my eyebrows. By the way, my eyebrows are looking disgusting. Eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, I will be using the one and the only. Morphe X James Charles palette. I absolutely adore this palette. This is what got me into really creative eye makeup looks. I have done so many. I absolutely love it. Don't care what scandal James goes into. His palette is bomb. This is the lightest, lightest, lightest makeup look. I don't even generally do it if I'm running late. I won't do anything on my eyes, but uh, normally I'll just do something very light. So for this, I'm going in with my Real Techniques brush. It's a bit blue actually. Ah, it's clean enough. Why does that look kind of gray in real life? I have cleaned the brush and I'm ready to try that again. Code James. Now I'm going to dip into canvas, blend the top shade out. 
Something that I really learned with this palette is that if you don't put any primer or concealer or anything on your eyelid before you put on the colors that they're definitely not going to be anywhere near as bright or as vibrant but that works fine for me here because there's barely anything on my eyelids and that's fine because it just is really subtle in this way. With any little bit of excess that's left on the brush I just drag it under just to kind of make it all a bit more cohesive. My mascara. I had a very tough time deciding what I wanted to show you today because I have three top favorites and I generally just go with instinct on the day. I would use or the, they're both kind of drugstore, one is more drugstore, I would say. This is the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Voluptuous and it has Argan Oil in mascara. It's really good because it is really voluminous, but it leaves them a little bit chunky and clung together. But if I'm going on a day where I really want full length, big, here are my eyelashes. This is the one. And then the other one is the Rimmel London, the wonderful, wonderful extreme black mascara. This has also argan oil in it. These are for top lash. And then I would use the absolute amazing and wonderful Benefit Roller Lash. I have the mini version. That's why I like using it on my bottom lashes because it's really fine and easy to get the bottom lashes. So I'm going to start with the Maybelline one. In a way, I don't mind the clunkiness. See, I mean, look at the difference. I mean, no comparison. Okay, now that I've done that, I'll just slightly go in with the Rimmel London one as well. And this one is very good for dividing. Okay, and now I'm going in with the Benefit Roller Lash. I really don't want to put a lot on my lower lash because knowing me, I'll rub my eyes or something during the day and then I'll just make, make it look like a big black, dark circles. I'm going to go in with the eyebrow gel. I absolutely love this eyebrow gel. This is the Gimme Brow Benefit eyebrow gel. The only problem is, is that it's in the shade 1. You know, as I was saying, like, this is really like the full everyday routine, because obviously if I'm in a hurry, I'm not going to worry about putting on two mascaras or three even different mascaras or stuff like that. I'll just go basic bam bam bam, done. Time to remove the powder. So I am using this Mio Mare. Yeah, because as I've mentioned in my first video, I live in Italy, but I didn't say why I live in Italy, because I am also half Italian. I'm half Italian, half Irish. It is time for blush. Blush, I'm going in again with the Revolution palette, and I'm going in with that same brand there, Mio Mare. Comment down below if you prefer a peach blush or pink blush. I'm going to do a mixture of this peach color here and this pink color here. I just tap it first very lightly here because I don't want to go overboard. I also do a tiny bit on my nose. Something that I often do, especially if I go overboard with blush or contour, is to just take my beauty blender before and press everything in. I don't think I've gone overboard today, but I just really want to press all the product into my face. Go in with highlight, a real technique. This in here, maybe a bit of this one, maybe those three all together. I will push it first on my cheekbone. Wow, look at that strong. I don't think the slide is doing it even justice. Cupid's bow. Not too much because I don't like when it makes you look sweaty. And then the most important mark to me because it makes your, changes your whole eye look, press into that corner. Makes you look more awake. This is when I decide if I want to do just lip balm or lip gloss or lipstick. So I have here a sample of all of those things. Keep in mind that the um, lipstick shade I have here is not the one I would use to go to school. Trick, before I do any of this, after I've washed my teeth and everything, I will get the brush and just kind of brush my lips to take off dead skin, make them look plumper and fuller. So I'm just going to quickly go do that. Perfect, now that I've done that, I'm going in with the Kiko Milan lip balm. I really like this. The only thing is that it leaves a kind of oily feeling to your lips. 
in a way, which I guess is almost a good thing. Then the other two options I would have if I'm going for lip gloss, I, which I generally do, it's the Essence Lip Gloss. It doesn't have any name or anything on it, but really easy drugstore. This is what I generally use in what I'm going to be using today. If I'm going somewhere, I will use the MAC lipstick and this is in the shade Red Rock Matte A67 and it's very vibrant that's why I was saying that I don't use this to go to school. The absolute last step is the setting spray. I use the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. What I do and I'm not sure if everyone does this or if it's just me or I don't know, I will give it a few sprays and then it push my hand over my eyes and then spray because I'm afraid that my mascara will just drool and drool my mascara will leak I'll do a head thing okay so that is it for this video I hope you really enjoyed myself I did doing my everyday makeup routine and yeah leave a like comment down below if you prefer pink blush or peach blush and leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!